All right, welcome back. Now, in the last lecture, you learned how to create a sticker pack application with no coding at all, right? I mean, you literally copy pasted some images from a folder into a sticker pack folder in less than 30 seconds and you were good to go. You created a sticker pack application. You can publish that on the App Store and make millions. Well, maybe not, but um, the sticker pack application is quite limited. It doesn't have any code, so you cannot attach advertisements to it using AdMob. You cannot do any kind of uh, transitions. You also cannot do any kind of in-app purchase. So your you know, app is pretty limited. But there's another option that you can use, which is called the iMessage application. Now, the iMessage application, which actually allows you to create application using code, which means that you can add advertisements to it, you can add in-app purchases, you can have nice funny transitions and all those kind of effects that you can create just by writing code. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to select the iMessage application over here, say next, and going to create the name and all that stuff. Of course, I'm going to select Swift. Now, once you create the project, which I already have, I'm going to call it Cute Stickers, Cute Cat Stickers. And I have already added some cats to it. They are pretty cute. Some of them are actually terrifying. But let's go to the storyboard and see what it looks like. So here is what the storyboard looks like when you create an iMessage application. All right. Let's go ahead and run it. Can you guess what you're going to see? Most probably just the hello world, right? So let's wait for the message to pop up. Here we go. And there we go. You can see hello world. Now you might be really tempted to start writing inside the messages view controller, which inherits from MS messages app view controller. But hey, don't do that. That's not the point of messages view controller or anything that inherits from messages view controller. If you want to display a list or a grid of cats, I would suggest making a completely new controller and then using the principles of view controller containment, that's a big word, right? you will inject your new controller inside this controller, all right? Now, of course, it looks all complicated, but it's not. Let's go ahead and remove this guy over here. So I've just removed the label. I'm gonna go over here and search for a container. And oh, wow, I do did find a container over here. I'm just gonna drag and drop and put the container. And now look at it. As soon as I'm gonna drop, ooh, it adds a view controller with it. What does that even mean? It has a view controller when I drop in a container. It actually means that this particular view will be controlled by this particular controller. So in our case, we will make sure that this view is large enough. So let's go ahead and make it uh, to fit the size of all the sides. So here we go. And now I'm going to say update frame and there we go. And you can see as the size of the view increase or decrease, the size of the view controller basically is reflecting that your view will be of that size. All right. Now to see in order to witness that this view controller will be responsible for, you know, coloring this view or displaying this view, I'm just going to go over here and going to change the color of the view controller view to orange. Save it, run it. Let's see what happens now. I'm gonna load it. And here we go, orange. So now what we have done is we have actually used, we are using the messages view controller, but the view inside the messages view controller is controlled by a separate view controller. That's the cool part, right? So let's go ahead and basically in this controller, we are going to display a list of cats. So I'm going to add a new controller, new file. I'm just going to add a Swift file. And what should I name? Most probably, let's say I'm going to name it cute cats view controller and create it there we go completely empty right class cute 
cat's view controller and it's going to inherit from ms oops let me actually first go ahead and import the messages because without that i won't be able to use any of the features of the messages so ms stickers browser view controller what is ms stickers browser view controller well ms sticker browser view controller if you're familiar with a ui table view controller or a ui collection view controller it's very similar to that it's uh, basically purpose is to provide you with a list of stickers and that can be anything so let's go ahead and create some stickers stickers equals to not equals to this ms sticker so i'm just creating a property and then sticker names which can be cat1 cat2 cat3 cat4 right all of these are there now in this case what i'm going to do is i'm going to override the view did load so view did load always call the super view did load and then I can initialize my stickers. So stickers equals to ms sticker, kind of like empty, and then self dot stickers equals to load stickers. All right. So load stickers is actually responsible for populating the stickers. Of course, we don't have load stickers. So I need to do something to get the load stickers working. So here we go, private function, load stickers. What should it return? Most probably an array of a sticker. So now I have to actually write the code. So how should I get the stickers? Well, I already have the stickers. It's over here in my file system, in my bundle. So the only thing I need to do is to get the URL for those files in a loop. I have to run a loop because all these names are corresponding to these names. So let's go ahead and first run the loop for sticker name in self dot sticker names. So now I have access to cat1, cat2, cat3, cat4 using my sticker name. But I still need to get the URL. Not a big deal. I can easily get the URL. There we go. Bundle dot main URL for the resource. This is the resource sticker name. And the extension, as you can see over here, is JPG, not PNG. PNGs are much better. So if you can find PNGs, hey, more power to you. Now let's go ahead and create a sticker. Sticker equals to MS sticker. And it needs a URL. I'm going to pass in the URL and some sort of a localized description, which in this case, I'm just going to pass in the sticker name. But it complains. You can't use ms sticker like that it can actually throw an exception so you have to call it with a try okay and finally of course you can add the stickers to the stickers collection that you have append and sticker all right let's go ahead and build it oops i have not returned it so i can go ahead and return the stickers actually you know what i should create a stickers over here like a, a local thing stickers equals to uh, ms sticker like this and i can use this guy over here sticker and return stickers okay so now my stickers collection or a stickers array when the load sticker is fired it's going to get all the stickers so now i can provide the stickers to the interface and the cool thing about the sticker browser view controller is that it actually knows how to put the stickers on the screen so we don't have to do anything all right so one of the methods that we have to override is number of stickers if you are familiar with a ui table view controller and a ui collection view controller number of stickers, number of row in section, number of, you know, remember those things. It's pretty similar to that. Return self.stickers.k. 
count. That's it. Pretty cool, right? And now I just have to return the sticker, which will be in the method called sticker at sticker at index. We already have the sticker in the sticker collection, so self.stickers and then pass in the index. And you should be good to go. Right? That is pretty much it. So let's go ahead and run our application now. Considering, considering the fact that now we are have, we have been writing code to achieve the same result that we did achieve when we were using uh, when we didn't again yeah, when we did achieve the same result when we were using sticker packs. Okay, something is weird is going on. It's not pulling up. So most probably it might be because the class that I have, this one, does not belong to the cute cats controller. There we go. We have to set up the class of this view controller to the cute cats view controller where all our code is, or else it will never get triggered. Let's go ahead and run it. And hopefully, fingers crossed, we should see some cute cats being displayed. And there we go. Isn't that awesome? That we can actually display that. Click on that. Boom. We can send it. And on other side, John is going to get a really nice, beautiful cat. And that was creating the stickers application. But this time, instead of copy pasting it, you actually wrote code. Benefits? Well, you can do transitions. You can attach ad mob advertisements. You can sell some stickers for free and some stickers using in-app purchase. So your options are now limitless. Hope you like this lecture and stay tuned for more. Thank you very much.